Well, unfortunately, playing around with this phone, the switch from facing me to turning the other way, about the only way I can do that, using the regular cameras to spin the phone around. So, I'm down here in Tennessee. It's seven hours and 40 minutes away from Maryland, Cecil County. Doing some walking out here in the wooded area. Ain't really seen no sign of deer <clears throat> or any other wildlife. Seen a couple squirrels. Just trying to get an idea of what all animals are around here. And maybe do some hunting this coming winter. There's some kind of weird thing about the deer down here. Apparently they got some kind of disease like thing. It's kind of weird. I'll have to do some research. Turn around and let these guys know. There's a way to tell if deer have it. I gotta find out more detail. Apparently they act all weird and dumbfounded. Something they do. Talking about hills down here, holy shit. That place there is where I stay at. There's the in-ground pool, which is there. That's the main road that goes past our house. And then right about there, where I'm pointing at, is the path that comes this way, which is another road. It goes past our driveway. Right down there, I don't know how we can see it. There's part of the lake. Might just have to walk down there and do some video footage. Let these guys check it out. Figure since I had a few days of rest before stuff gets crazy for me. It ain't crazy in a bad way, it can be crazy in a good way. Waiting on a few phone calls back. Hopefully have some work lined up and start going by Monday. So everything goes right. Oh, yep, and this as far as I'm going this way, because that right there looks like somebody's driveway, so I'm not going no further up. Ain't trying to get in trouble with neighbors or anything. But yeah, I mean, you can see it. It's almost like living on a mountain down here. Now, temp-wise... What I have seen different down here compared to up in Maryland. Nighttime last night wasn't bad at all. I mean, anybody knows me knows I hate the damn cold. And I was actually out on the front porch, out on the porch last night. I'd say somewhere around between 11 and 1 in the morning. Wasn't bad out at all, temp wise. I was jeans and t shirt. You see, you know it ain't bad out for me to be dressed like that. So, I'm going to walk my happy ass down this hill, and hopefully I don't go sliding like I almost did. And try to get these guys some video footage of down by the lake. Apparently, the fishing down here ain't bad at all. And this lake goes for, shit, I forget how far. Apparently to get to the one city, that's just, I think it's Mountain City if I remember correctly. To get to it, or another one, I may be wrong in the name of the city. Apparently you actually cross over this lake five different times. And that's how big it is. It's a man-made lake from what I've gathered and was told. So... I know usually when I do some kind of video footage and stuff, it's all car related. Well, right now, all my projects and the vehicles I've been working on is all up in Maryland. Now, where the hell? All right, I go this way. Well, I fear since I ain't got them down here, do something a little different on the channel. Because this video and some other ones are going to go on YouTube. 
So I'm down from here to Mountain City. It's about 24 minute drive. I forget how far it is to Johnson City or Elizabethton, but they ain't too awfully bad. I think they're half hour or less one way, give or take. So, I don't know. All I know is, I am not used to hills like this. Holy shit. You set a bowling ball right here and watch it shoom right down there, no problem. Talking about gravity helping you. Holy hell. So, alright. I'll probably do some updates and you'll find online there's videos out the wazoo. What people think of Tennessee and this, that, and the third. Well, not being from Tennessee, I figure. What the hell? Because anybody knows me knows me from Maryland. Unless it's people who know me from my report my disappearance trick. But uh with all these videos on YouTube, online, about this, that, and the third, about Tennessee. I fear me being one from a different state coming down here, give perspectives and what not from what I myself have personally seen and witnessed. So far from what I see, it's not too bad. Down here, I mean, what few people I've come across, just as nice as you can be, which I've only came across maybe two, three people, and that's when I stopped in the store on the way. That was up. The northeastern corner of Tennessee when we stopped for fuel on the way down. And then it took us about another hour to get him after that. But uh from what I've seen just in that time, people seem to be pretty nice and cool, whatnot. Weather wise, ain't too bad so far from what I've seen. Hell it's According to the thermometer right here, and it's in the shade, it's 59.60 out. Humidity's pretty much low as hell. So, it ain't awfully bad. I mean, granted, with the part I'm in, which I'm right outside a little area called Dew, or Doe, something like that. I'm outside of it, and it's all hills and whatnot. Granite, what I love about it, it's so quiet and peaceful. I mean, listen. You literally hear the birds. And that's maybe the third car I've heard go by all day. It's quiet. It's peaceful. If you want to sit on your front porch, drink a cup of coffee and relax... You can do so and not have to worry about nobody bugging you. Now, if anybody from up that way decides to come down here, I strongly suggest for temporarily get you a Verizon phone. Because from what I'm gathering, Verizon actually works pretty good down here. I've got Metro, the service is hit and miss. If I stand back up there in the driveway... Here and there, I'll get a little bit of service, which ain't the greatest, but the cell phone reception for Metro ain't the greatest down here. That is one thing I didn't care too much for. Now, one of the cats are following me down the driveway, <laughs> but uh, I have noticed that. Now, Straight Talk and all the other carriers... I don't know how they would do down in this part that I'm currently at. This is just going off of what I myself am seeing firsthand. Default about living at the spot I'm at. Say you decide you want to take and hike out to the store. 
get yourself cigarettes and a soda pop. On foot one way, it's like three hours. I want to say three hours and 12 minutes, I think is what I found on Google. The other store, which is an Exxon store, that's up by the prison, which is up by Dew, which is over that way somewhere. That one on foot is like four hours and something. And it is a lot of hills all the way. And I'm not talking them little hills like what these guys are used to in, up in Cecil County area, up in Maryland. <clears throat> when you mention hills down here, they're talking about true full hills. Like Rocky Mountain hills, shit like that. Use a rock crawler to go up. Well, that is if you get stuck so you can get up from the bottom. I mean, heck, this is the driveway. I'm about a quarter of the way down. If you're on that side, well, there's the edge of the driveway, man. Right here's the edge of the driveway. Right about here. Well, you see, it's kind of narrow. It's only about eight foot. If you drop down that side, you're fine. You just have to wiggle your way up until you finally get out. If you go down this side, because the driveway is there, then you see it's flat for maybe two, three foot at spots. As you can see, there's spots where it tightens. The band gets tight against the driveway and it comes out. I mean, you can see the angle. That's all downhill. And then down this way, this happened before I got down here, so I missed all of it. Oh, so I do got neighbors. God damn. Didn't even know. Yeah. So apparently I do got neighbors. Cool. Never knew that. Well, then again, when you live up, yeah, we're up there. That's the pool house. Who would ever think me living at a place that has an in-ground pool? Apparently, before I came down here, the one person that lives here had their car stuck right in there somewhere. Well, the guy Dan with the truck came up this way through this driveway and went to go around and slid which I guess that's what the little marks are right there that's when he slid off but apparently the back of his truck got stuck on them cables right there and from my understanding they had to bring two tow trucks and more or less hook to his truck and get it set back on the ground and up this hill So yeah, I don't recommend uh, hugging the edge of the road too well. 